this is the artist reception for stories my grandmother told me. Uh, I'm the curator and also one of the exhibiting artists. Uh, I normally, when I curate, try not to put any of my works in, but the piece is titled after one of my signature pieces, which was one of my first pieces, which is the piece that is shown here, Stories My Grandmother Told Me. The show is pretty much inspired by the idea of matriarchal um, storytelling, that idea of passing on legacy, uh, passing on stories from one generation to the next, and uh, the idea of sisterhood and motherhood and uh, sisterly bonds that transcend just um, familial ties, but can also be through uh, acquaintances and bringing that into the forefront. Uh, this particular show, I brought together uh, some emerging artists that I had been watching or that I've been working with in my last two or three years as a professional artist. And these were artists that I thought really could embrace the idea of stories being passed on in this idea of motherhood and maternity uh, and sisterhood. And I brought in to the show Jasmine Sabri. We also have uh, Sarah Bunn with her gorgeous textile um, gowns and dresses. And we have in uh, Sashi Rome from Atlanta. And we have Renee, who is from uh, Baltimore. So these artists are like fabulous. They're really at the forefront of what you're looking at in black art from all different types of um, mediums. We have uh, collage based artists, we have painters, we have fiber and textile artists and installation art, art that I've done. I also brought in some works from my own personal collection from Delita Martin and Christine Mays. Delita Martin is one of the foremost printmaking artists uh, and she's out of Texas and her work is here from my own personal collection, then I have Christine Mays, who is a wire-working sculpture artist. It has a quote from Maya Angelou in it, and her work is also here. I really hope that the people visiting will be able to find some kind of their own family connections to the work, and um, be able to have a personal um, uh, empathy for what I'm trying to show here. Thank you to everyone that's come out, everyone that's visited. Hopefully we've taken a little bit of what's going on in my cranium and hopefully it was well represented. Uh, just realize that a lot of these artists, uh, four or five years from now, uh, if you're looking to purchase any of their work, read my t-shirt. My t-shirt says, my prices are based on my talent, not your budget. <laughs> uh, if you're looking to purchase any other work, it's going to be really hard to find at a decent uh, rate. So get it now while you can and definitely buy art. Support the artist. Don't be afraid to ask an artist, can we work something out? Can we do a payment plan? Most artists are very willing to do it and they're able to do it. So definitely try to do that. So it's an easy way to build your collection and go from there. Um, you know, it's great to go to Home Goods and get something really cool for your wall, but it's even better to pass something on as a legacy to your children and others. So, definitely do so.